Hi everybody, welcome back um, to our third and final video for the Wreath Pixies Wreath Making Event 2020. Um, in this video, I aim to show you how to make some bows. Um, so this is the final stage, although I'm doing it a little bit backwards today. Um, so I'm going to show you how to make a few sort of fancy bows that you can put on your wreaths. So the first thing you need to have with you, make sure that you've got your equipment, is a pair of scissors, some wires left over, the same stuff that you used for the greenery and for the, for the wreath making, and you want some ribbon. So you got to choose some ribbon uh, when you went and got your packs, your takeaway pack of wreath stuff. So I've got a few different ones with me today. I love ribbon. I absolutely love ribbon, um, which is really, it's a difficult thing because I don't really like bows that much, but I really love ribbon. So um, if you like bows and they can look absolutely beautiful, I love this one. This is a new one this year. So you might, you might have that nice tartan one. It's the same on both sides. So the first thing you need to do is you need to determine where you want to put the bow on your wreath. So if you, if you want it to dangle into the center, maybe you want to have a big one at the top with some strands that hang down. Maybe you want a littler one at the bottom that just hangs down a little bit and has some short ribbony bits on the bottom. Um, or you might just want something really simple and just hang it on a piece of ribbon to your door if you don't want a big fussy bow. I'm not a big fussy bow person, so I generally just use a little length of ribbon and attach it to my door. Uh, but it's up to you what you want. So I'm gonna show you a couple of different bows that you could try. They don't work for every single bow. So first I'm gonna show you um, what to do if you've got um, some ribbon that's only one-sided. So really you're a little bit limited. You can't turn back on itself unless you want to have some of it the wrong way. So this ribbon, on one side it's plain red, but on the other side it's this lovely sort of Nordic kind of Christmassy thing. I fell in love with it when I, when I bought it, but it probably worked for my wreath because I don't need to have it two-sided because I'm not gonna do anything fancy. This is just a simple bow. Everyone can tie their shoes so you can make this one. It's basically, you only need, you need less than an arm's width and I don't have very long arms. And you basically make the bow the same way that you would tie your shoes. You just make a bow like that, just a normal bow. Um, the only thing is you just need to make sure that you play around with it a bit and you twist all of the bow to be the right side up. So it just takes a little bit of playing with it. Some of this is twisted around the wrong way. I just need to give it a little bit of a twist. All of our ribbons have got wire in them, so it should be quite easy to sort of mold them into the way that you want them. Um, that will take a little bit of playing with, but it didn't take me very long to make it last time. Just a little bit of tweaking. Yeah. I also suggest that um, you do have some alcohol handy for after this. Um, you might be doing it in the middle of the afternoon, fair enough, but you know, it's Christmas and we're in the middle of a pandemic. So, you know, I've got my wine handy for after, but I thought I'd wait till I was done this video before I drank any of it. So it's on standby. So yeah, just making it, tightening it up a bit and twisting, twisting it all around so that you've got it facing the right way and you've got it the right size. It's just a matter of playing with it until you've got something that you like. But that's just simply a loop, round, pull it through, and mess with it. And then you can have a really nice, simple bow and just keep twisting them the right way. Um, and then to attach that, I would probably pinch it in the middle of the back, put a piece of wire through, and stick it either at the top of your wreath, hanging into it, or maybe at the bottom of your wreath, like that. Or you can use it just as a loop or something. So you can't do an awful lot with that, but there are some really pretty ribbons that are only one-sided, so that's, that's all I know what to do with it anyway. Okay, I'll show you the one that we often make every year, and you will need quite a long piece, longer than this. I've chopped a little bit off of this. So you need at least, well, you need about, my arm's width and a half, and I'm five foot two and a bit. So, so the first thing you're gonna do, so I'll show you this up close. This is double-sided, so it's gonna be turning back on itself and you need to have it patterned. I take two fingers, you have to excuse my nails, I haven't had my nails professionally done for quite some time, and I just wrap it round my fingers. Just one little loop, 
a good loop though, because you don't want it to come undone. So just a loop like that. Okay, keep my fingers in and I'll hold that. And then I'm just gonna keep looping it back on itself. So I give it a little loop there, the same on the next side. You see? Then I loop it back on itself again, but a little bit bigger this time. And the same on this side. Then I'm gonna do the same size loop I just did. Okay, so you have, you have one in the middle, one small one, and you'll have two the same size. Can you see that? See what it looks like from the side. So you've got the pinch in the middle, a tiny loop, and then two the same, just by looping back. I'll show you that one more time. Fingers in. <laughs> I'm gonna drop it. Curled around. It's got wire, so it will stay in the end, but it won't stay until, until you wire it up, okay? I don't always like it as big as two fingers, so I might make it a little smaller, but hold it. Okay, a small one, a matching small one, a bigger one, another bigger one that matches that, and then another one that matches that last big one. Okay, and then you have, should have something that looks like that. That's what it looks like from the side. You just got this little flappy bit there, but that's okay. And it should look like that. We can chop that off later. Okay, so it should look like that. Now, this is the tricky bit because I'm by myself again. I want, I want to have a little tail that hangs down here. So I cut one earlier, but you might cut it off the end of yours. And I'm going to attach that to the back, just like that. I'm just going to hold it onto the back. Okay. Just hold it there for now. And I'm going to take a piece of the wire and I'm going to feed it through that central loop where my fingers were. And then I'm going to wrap it round the back and I'm going to make sure that I catch, I catch this, this piece on the back that I want to be the tail. Okay, and I give it a really good pinch. Pinch all that ribbon together. And then I pinch and twist it. Okay, pinching and twisting. You wanna get it as close as you can to it because you don't want your ribbon to come undone. I don't think I've done a great job there, but pinching it and twisting it. Okay, so it should be all pinched and twisted like that. Okay, and you should have these guys here. You'll be able to attach that onto your wreath wherever, wherever you want to. You won't be able to tie this one on, but you can just attach it like that. And then you can play around with making this look a little bit better. So the two that were the same size, you can spread them out. So they come out like that and that. So it gives it a bit of width. Everyone likes a bit of girth on their ribbon. There you go. So you just, again, with this ribbon as well, you just wanna play around with it so that you get it puffy and keep that tight on there as well. Okay, so that gives it a bit of, a bit of puff. Okay, and again, just play with it a bit. I think if I had longer, I would really play with it. And because it's got wire in it, you can, you can really puff it. I've got a bit of Christmas music on in the background so that I can be a bit festive. So there you go. I suggest you put some Christmas music on too. A bit of buble. Mm -hmm. Buble and, and ribbon, can't go wrong. Buble and bows, perfect. So that's one of them. Feel free to rewind this and watch my very bad instructional video on how to make that. But basically, you've got something that looks like that. And then attach it on and give it a bit of a fluff and make it pretty. Okay, so that's, that's one like that. And also, I like at the very end to give it a little bit of a snip so they're on a diagonal and they're about the same, because they won't be. Snip anything that you need to snip, but the bo bottoms are nice on a bit of a diagonal. So there's two bows, a really simple one, a bit of a fancy one. You can use this on your gift wrapping as well. In fact, this one would be quite nice just straight without being puffed up and just around a box. A bit of brown paper, mm, love them. It's one of my favorite things. Okay, right. And now this year, I'm, I've, <laughs> I Googled how to make a different bow. And then um, 
This one's a little bit different. So this one, I'm gonna make it with you live when I've never made one before. I've just sort of bent it a bit and said, oh, I can do that. So this one is, again, you need double-sided ribbon to make this one, but it makes quite a puffy one. And it's about the same amount of ribbon you'll need. My arm span, about five foot two and, and another, another arm. Yeah, I'm really exact with my measuring. Um, so you might be a little more specific. We'll give you enough ribbon if that's what you want. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the ribbon and you're gonna be folding it back on itself again. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take it and you're gonna fold it towards you so that the cut end is on top, okay? And then you're going to fold the other side over. So the, the, the cut end is on the inside. It's like a little infinity thing. You see how it's on the inside? Okay, so it's trapped inside. And then you are simply going to make slightly bigger ones, okay, a bigger loop. And it's just like the other one where you're going back on yourself. So you make a loop, but this time you're gonna try and do it in a diagonal so that you've got two different sides. And then you're gonna loop it back. Okay, so you looped it, loop it back. Loop it again. Loop it back. So you have kind of something that looks like it's becoming a bit of an X of ribbon. Some on this side, some on this side. Because you're going to pinch it in the middle, so um, you will need to have some. Now, I think I've got too much there. So I'm going to snip this bit off. Let's see if this works. I'm going to snip this bit off. I'm trying to show you what. So I've got kind of, I'm holding it in the middle and I've got a bunch gathered on this side and a bunch gathered on this side and they're roughly the same sized loops. And I'm holding it in the middle, okay? And that bit I've just cut off, I'm going to tie it. This is the bit I haven't done before. I'm gonna tie it round the center of this. That's, it helps if you have somebody to help hold this for you. I have to try and convince some kids to help me. Um, but, hmm. Strangely enough, and the chickens are in bed because it's nighttime now, so um, I don't have anybody to help me. So sad. Okay, I'm putting it down on the table to tie it because I can't do it in the air. Okay, right. I think I've done it. I'm going to do it nice and tightly because it looks like it wants to spring back out. I can chop these bits off later if I need to. So I've just tied that piece across the middle. Okay, I'm gonna bunch it up later and make it look pretty. And now I can unfurl my puffy bow and I can give it a bit more puff. And now I've got a bit of a puffy fancy bow, another puffy fancy bow. So this is another way to do it. Again, you need the double-sided ribbon. These little bits here, I'll probably chop off at the back because I don't want them in the way. Okay, it does need still a bit of fluffing, but it's got rib, it's got wire in it so I can I can puff them out. And it's a bit of a traditional looking bow, that one, I think. Now, of course, oops, I'm gonna have to be careful it doesn't come out the back. I think you might have to tie it tighter than I just tied that. However, we do still have wire, so you might find the wire is useful for this one too. Um, I'm also going to put a tail in this one, so I need a little bit more. So, another piece and I'm going to cheat I'm going to poke it through the back where I've just tied that there's lots of space because I haven't done a very good job of it you might have to tie it tighter you might even have to use the wire and then I've got that coming through there we go so I'll chop the ends off that I suppose I could put a stitch through it that would keep it in, in, in shape in there but um, I could probably use the wire and just really give that a good, a good wiring before I put it onto my wreath. So, so that's another one as well. Okay. And um, there are other YouTube <laughs> tutorials if my bows are a little bit too rubbish, but I do miss being with you guys this year and being in the band hut and being able to, to make lots of bows. So anyway, those are three different, different bows. And you can always opt to just take a piece, loop it round the top, and just give it a little bit of, and just, just make a little feature of the top just where it hangs. You don't need to have a big fussy bow if it's not your thing. So, um, right, so 
Thank you very much for watching this. I hope, I know you will enjoy your wreaths and I will enjoy driving around the village or walking around the village and seeing them on all of your doors. And I'll know the yours because they're the big, huge ones with the big bows. Um, so yeah, Merry Christmas, everybody. Cheers.